What's up, family? It's Nigel, Built by Plants. I just left the gym, so while I'm talking, if I'm pausing, breathing kind of hard, bear with me, all right? So, um, as I was just leaving the gym, it's this lady that works here at the front desk. She just started about, she said about two, three months ago, but she's been training at the gym for about a year or so, right? So, um, I was leaving and I had to go the long way to leave out the gym because they were doing some painting so we can't go through the normal entrance. And I ain't like a real one. This ain't yourself, bitch. I'm cut over this. Hopefully that doesn't get copyrighted. <laughs> um LL3. Anyways, if you know you know. Um so as I was leaving out the gym, she she stopped me. She was like, Hey, what's your name? I was like, Nodge. Nodge, Nodge, whichever one prefer right most people can remember Naj easier um I said what's your name she said Sandy so I was like so did you just start working here because obviously you train upside down doing she literally just does handstands and all type of cool yoga tricks in the corner right and I'm like she is a beast um and she's like yeah I've been working here I've been training here for a year you know working here for two or three months or whatever I'm like oh, okay cool and um I was like, yeah, so, you know, a little small talk, whatever. She was telling me about, like, what she does. She said she's trying to work on her triceps. She's like, okay, cool. And um, I was like, yeah, so one movement you did, I was like, God, I need to learn how to do that type of stuff or whatever. It was literally stand upside down on the head, all type of cool things. She was like, yeah, because, you know, I'm old, right? That's what she said. She's like, I'm old. I'm 57. I was, in my mind, I was like, golly. 57 and literally standing upside down on her head with just her forearms to hold her and support her up, right? Literally like paused in the air upside down. I'm like, only if <laughs> I can do that, right? And you know, if I practice it and actually put in the effort, I know I can, but it's just not it's been, it just hasn't been a goal or something on my agenda, you know? And she's like, yeah, I'm old. I was like, well, old is technically how well you use your mind and your body. So you're not really 57, you're probably like more like 20, right? Because to be 57 and able to do the things that she does, um, it's crazy, it's legit, right? And then as I was walking out the gym, said have a good day or whatever, I was leaving out the gym and I was like, I need to do a video on this because as I started thinking about it more, it's like, it really is, like that's a real thing. Like we're literally as old as how well we use our mind in our body, right? We can be 57, 77, 87, 27, 17 with age, right? The number of years we've been on this planet, but how you treat your body and how you move your body, how well you feel, right? Physically, mentally, all these things play a huge role in how you actually age, right? So just because the number of years you've been on this planet means or it says one thing doesn't mean that's how old you technically are, right? Your age limit, they have uh, the metabolic age as well. Um, it's not really 100% accurate, but it does give you a better understanding of how old you technically are. You can be 25 years old, 25 years old, but have the body of a 65 year old because you're not moving it. You're not using it in the ways you should be using it. You know, we, get, we work these jobs that require us to sit for six hours, 10 hours a day, right? And not being very active. We're not utilizing our legs in the way that we should. We're not getting in enough cardio, right? And I know you all hear me talk about cardio, joking about it, talking about how much I don't like it, but that's just, you know, steady state cardio. I prefer to do movements and um, weighted cardio, right? Still cardio though. But we're not utilizing our bodies to its fullest potential and we're just sitting, right? That's the reason why, <clears throat> you know, for example, guys and ladies but you know when we're trying to build our glutes right and you're trying to do movements where you can use your glutes you know hip thrust or whatever or whatever it may be and you don't feel them you don't feel them in a the movement and they call them being um inactive right like dead glutes whatever like you just can't feel them well we're sitting don't we're sitting on our butt all day we're not using these muscle groups we're not training the proper way we're not fueling our body right we're not eating enough plants we're not eating enough fruit right and the, the issue is those are the things that keep us young those are the things that keep us feeling good <clears throat> and energized and ready right and excited and out of these depressed states so 
when we use our body and our mindset the right way and we train every single day, not just physically, but mentally, we read more, we go for walks, we drink water, we do these things that keep us active and fresh and feeling good, we're able to age gracefully. And just because we're getting older with the number of years we've been on this planet, that doesn't mean that you're gonna get older with your mindset. One of our clients um, <clears throat> that signed up, it hasn't been a month yet, um, let me see, about three weeks or so. His name is Gil. He's actually from Chicago as well, similar to me, right? And uh, he's 70. He's turning 70 in, I think, a couple of couple of weeks, right? And I'm talking to him, and I'm just having a discussion with him on the free coaching call that we had. And I'm like, you can kind of tell he's a little bit older, right? As far as, like, um, not so much, like, the way he looked, but you can tell he's been, he's, he's, he's older, right? I would have said he was probably about 57, but he's about to be 70 years old. Talks, interacts, jokes, laughs, trains. He does our virtual training sessions with Dwayne. Um, the body rebuild sessions that we have. He does one a week, squatting regularly, doing push-ups, jumping jacks, burpees, no problems um, with any of the movements, right? Because he's treating his body well and he signed up with the coaching program so that he can move better and he can stay active and have a team of people to hold him accountable so he can age better and have that level of discipline as he gets older because, you know, he has busy life, he has businesses and things that he's running and things that he wants to do and goals he wants to accomplish. So having a team of individuals to assist with that, that just makes you operate in a, in a more efficient manner, right? Um, and it keeps you accountable to doing what you're supposed to do. But the point being is that he understands the value of aging gracefully. You know, he's getting older and he's young, technically, in the way that he treats himself. But, you know, he's seen every opp opportunity to just improve his eating habits and such. But he moves literally trains like he's about 37 right 40 years old or so although he's almost 70 so treat your body well and it will treat you well as you age right and there's always going to be things that we can't do much about accidents injuries um you know things that just happen with life right you live here long enough stuff's going to happen to us but it's about what we can do to prevent those things from recurring more also what we can do what we can do to recover from certain things right like for the first time in my life uh december 31st 2020 um so almost two years ago it'll be like a year and a half now but it'll be two years in december i got injured for the first time training i injured my lower back probably one of the worst injuries that you can have right and uh it really set me back it set me back on a lot of the goals that i had when it comes to deadlifting the, the, the i wanted to hit 600 for the first time i got up to 595 that was my highest deadlift and i was five pounds away right and that set me back for literally a year all that all 2021 i was recovering um just trying to be able to move better right but now i'm back on that path and i'm doing these things that allow me to get back into that state i was in before the injury which keeps me young because i could have took the other approach i could have just let it beat me down and just say you know what forget it training hard, working out, all that type of stuff, it brings injury, so why even do it? And I could have just went into the stagnant state. But when you add resistance training to your workouts, when you add, you know, eating properly and just consistently going to the gym and doing the right things, it keeps you young, right? It's, it's the one thing that you can always depend on to improve your quality of life so that you age gracefully. So that was just a little rant that I had, some things that were on my mind that I wanted to express to you all. Hopefully you all were able to get some value from that. Hopefully some of that resonated with you all. In short, I just want you all to be able to age gracefully, train and do the things that you know is gonna keep you young, make you feel good. Um, literally when I say make you feel good, like physically and mentally make you feel good. Eating good food, eating lots of healthy, fresh vegetables makes you feel good. It's healing to the body, right? It gives us these vitamins and minerals that we need to actually operate at our maximum capacity. So utilize the plant-based diet, right? Leverage it. It's a cheat code inside of life. When you add those type of foods to your diet, it keeps you feeling vibrant and healthy and energized. So hopefully you all can get some value from that. I'll catch y'all later. I'm about to go, to go to the house, actually. Fill up on some water, take a shower, work on some meal plans and such, and uh, enjoy this Saturday night, actually. Um, tonight's, uh, what, what's Friday tonight? Earl Spence 
He's fighting. Um, actually, he's fighting here in Dallas, his hometown. Um, it would have been nice to get tickets. I don't even know why I didn't think about that. I should have tried to get some tickets to the fight. Probably too late now. Anyways, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.